Good morning folks, I've got to admit I had absolutely no intention of making a video today but then I was looking on Google Maps last night and I saw something just outside Edinburgh that I knew nothing about. So I jumped in the van and here we are in East Lothian just outside Aberlady. Let's see if I can find what I'm looking for. Okay, so we just crossed this little bridge, we'll head through here, out to the beach and what we're looking for is about here but it's not even on that sign. But to give you a clue, in case you haven't read the description of this video already, I've got my welly boots with me this morning and I've had to come here at low tide. What do you think it is? We seem to be having this run of really good weather at the moment, but when I think about East Lothian, there's two things that come to mind. One is golf and the other one is good weather. They always seem to have better weather out here. It's like they've got this little microclimate or something. It could be raining half an hour away in Edinburgh and it'd be gorgeous here. To give you an idea of where we are this morning, if you continue down the coast to my left, that'll take you to Musselburgh and then into Edinburgh. And off to my right, you've got the famous golf courses. Here we've got Gullen. And then beyond, you've got Muirfield that's hosted so many open championships. And then about another eight miles down that road, you'll be in North Berwick. I really hope I find what we're looking for today, but it's one of these things, will the tide be low enough? Will it still be there even? Because the pictures I saw online, they could be 20 years old. Maybe it's washed away by now. Fingers crossed. Lots of people out with their binoculars this morning. This is a really popular bird watching spot. I'll tell you what, those birds have got a good life out here. I'm going to be pouring sand out of these trainers for weeks. Right, so here we are at the top of the sand dunes and I can actually see what I'm looking for away off in the distance. It might look like a, just a couple of craggy rocks, but it's actually a lot more interesting than that. And in fact, away off in the distance, I can see Arthur's seat in Edinburgh. I'm not even sure I'm going to need to use my wellies. I might be able to get out there on the trainers. How did I not know about this? These beaches, they're just incredible. They seem to go on forever. Okay folks, here we go. We are walking towards two very rare examples of X-class submarines from the Second World War. They used to be based out in the Isle of Lewis in the Outer Hebrides. And then in 1946, they were towed over here and used for target practice. And to think that they've sat here ever since in Aberlady Bay and I knew nothing about them until last night. I'm so glad I brought the wellies, by the way. As I say, from a distance, these just look like craggy rocks, but when you get up close, there's absolutely no doubting this is the shape and skeleton of a submarine. And here you can see the hatches that those brave men would have gone through. Now, believe it or not, these are just over 50 feet long and they had a crew of four. Can you imagine four people in here? And they could stay under the water for up to 14 days. That's just crazy. And when I look inside, there's little bits of the submarine that are obviously always under the water and they're so well preserved. Look at this, one of the big old shackles that would have held the submarines in place. I'll say it again folks, 1946. This is incredible. Right, let's head over and look at the other submarine and see if it fared any better in all those target practice missions.
So just about midway between the two boats, we've got this massive slab of concrete. I guess this is what they were both tied to. Now looking at this fin, I'm guessing this is the back of the boat and a little interesting nugget of information is that these submarines were powered by diesel engines the same diesel engines they used in London buses and its average cruising speed, 2 knots It's like looking inside a shark isn't it? Well how awesome was that folks, I'm so glad I took a chance and came out here because the risk was there'd be nothing here at all but that was so worth it, if you ever get the chance get yourself down to Aberlady Beach Well as I'm heading back to the van it's got me thinking it's such a beautiful day and the day is young so do we go home now or do we continue down the coast and have a look at something else that I've never seen before I think we'll go with the latter So what we've come to see is the Belhaven Bridge here in Dunbar Now at low tide it looks quite sensible, it's got a purpose, it spans the stream but it's when we come back at high tide you'll see why it's called the Bridge to Nowhere At least I hope the tide comes in that far, otherwise it'll be a long wait for nothing It actually turned out to be a bit of a blessing in disguise that I had to wait for the tide to come in It encouraged me to walk along the coastal path towards Dunbar Harbour The walk itself is only topped by one of the most unique and picturesque harbours I've ever seen I'd never been to Dunbar before and I was a wee bit blown away by the place to be honest I liked it so much that I brought Alicia back the very next day and we both said that we'd have no problem spending our summer holidays here if the weather was like this Another bonus is Dunbar being the birthplace of one of my heroes, John Muir and I'm very tempted to have a crack at the John Muir way at some point this year Oh man, I can even see a lighthouse off in the distance This is a town that needs its own video and it will get its own video, I promise we'll be back here So there we go folks, the Belhaven Bridge has transformed itself into the bridge to nowhere and on a calm night like tonight it's hard to beat but I waited for about 4 hours for this tide to come up so it's time for me to go home Oh boy that was so difficult to film tonight, there were so many people around kids jumping off the bridge, everything but I was determined to get my shot and I hope it's worked out okay As always folks, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon, bye bye real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back 
Someday 